Hi and welcome to this tutorial about Logtree Connect for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. This tutorial will go through the assisted setup for Logtree Connect. Start by searching for assisted setup and then choose Setup Logtree Connect. The setup process will go through a few steps, for example, Logtree credentials, defining generic package types, link shipping agents and services in Business Central to carriers in Logtree link shipment methods to specific terms of delivery for each carrier, and finally, some generic settings. Let's go! Enter your Logtrade credentials. That is your license number, username and password that you got from Logtrade when you signed up. If you just want to try the solution, just leave the fields empty and you will use a trial account for your country during the test. When you click Next, Business Center will download carrier product codes, package types codes, terms of delivery codes and more from Logtrade for each carrier. Depending on your agreement, this can take up to a few minutes. Next step is the package types. There are a few default package types added and you can add more if needed. The package types are related to the carriers and the relations can be changed by clicking on the manage button. To link shipping agents in Business Central to carriers in Logtrade, just choose the correct carrier in the carrier name field and also add your customer number for that specific carrier in the field payer customer number. Next step is to link shipping agent services in Business Central to carrier product codes in Logtrade. You do this the same way as for shipping agents in the previous step. The product codes are filtered on the carrier you chose in the previous step. If there are any terms of delivery codes for the current product, this can automatically be linked to your shipment methods in Business Central if the codes match each other. Just answer yes to the question. In this step, you can also add a default package type for each shipping agent service, so you don't have to select that on every shipment you do. The shipment method defines who will pay for the freight, that means who will be invoiced by the carrier. Specify freight payer for each method in the field freight payer. You can drill down to see which term of delivery codes from Logtrade that has been linked to each shipment method in Business Central by clicking on the number in the last field or on the manage button. This will open a window for that specific method with the linked terms of deliveries and you can change or add new ones yourself. In the last step you should do some generic settings. You should add a number series as a system reference between Business Central and Logtrade. You should also choose if the shipment should be prepared or released when it's sent to Logtrade. Released means that the information will be sent to the carrier and you can no longer change it. If you choose to prepare, you will have to do a manual routine to release the shipments. It's recommended that you use integrated printing for fast and automatic printing. Then you define your default print queue for the documents. But if you're only testing or have low volumes, you can use PDF. Goods type defines the content in your package. Use something general, so you don't need to change this too often. Normally, the shipment date will be the business central work date. While testing, it's important that you keep the test mode as true. In test mode, no external communication will be done to the carrier or customer. 